This is the SPCE one month overview for January 2022. Thank you for showing me the behavior of the stock SPCE throughout the month of January 2022. Amen. There's an important technical level highlighted as the theme for January. There may be a lull in volume, we'll have to look more into that. And it's crossed with a breakdown through a diagonal support level, or a diagonal trend line, I should say, um, with increasing volatility on the way down. This is uh, January 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and the 7th. And we have an opportunity within the midst of a decline to uh, open long positions or buy calls, um, sell any short or close any short positions on that Monday the 3rd, and then a breakout the following day on Tuesday the uh, 4th. Um, Wednesday, <coughs> Out of the decline, there's a courageous rally. And Thursday, there's a big push to the upside in the midst of some difficult market behavior. Um, we revisit a crest, um, an opportunity and a crest on, on Friday the 7th. That's uh, January 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Ooh, upside down. Well, we have uh, two equal and op uh, opposite moves that cancel each other out. There's kind of like a full retracement. We go up and then we retrace back down or we retrace the prior day. That sometimes happens as well. Um, and that would be that Monday, the, the uh, 10th. Sharp decline on uh, 
on a Tuesday the 11th sharp decline through multiple uh, support levels and then we have um, uh, a, a relatively large move uh, roughly the same uh, magnitude of a move on Wednesday in the opposite direction moving back up in a big big move to the upside then there's a highlight uh, technical levels highlighted on um, the 13th on Thursday the 13th yeah and it's uh, it's a we're, we're bound within that technical range Looks to me like it's probably the top of a range. And then we have uh, Monday the 17th, Tuesday the 18th, Wednesday the 19th, Thursday the 20th, Friday the 21st. So um, a new high or, an, or a relatively notable high on Monday the 17th um, with, a, with, an, with, a, with a reversal that's significant. It's a, signif a, sin a significant reversal off of a, a notable high. And then we have a lot of volatility on uh, Tuesday the 18th. There's opportunity to uh, roll or to to open uh, positions so that I, I play both sides of the market or in the case of SPC um, probably hedge hedge some positions um, technical level again on Wednesday the 19th with a sharp sharp decline through multiple um, support levels, an opportunity to cash in on some of those positions or probably the short positions. On uh, Thursday the 20th and then a flight to safety on uh, Friday the 21st. We have a breakout, uh, excuse me, not a breakout, but on Monday the, Monday the 24th, we have a uh, price level that we cross back, back and forth through three times and then it confirms a bullish trend. And then there's a, sh a big move to the upside that following Tuesday the 25th. Some downward price swinging on Wednesday the uh, 26th. A uh, notable support level is established or reestablished or we attempt to establish um, like a, a very important prominent support level on Thursday the 27th. And then we have a failed attempt to break through a key resistance followed by a decline through, multi uh, a, decline through a support level um, on Friday the 28th. Final card, debacle. Sharp downturn um, on that Monday the 31st. Um, we have a breakdown through a support level to reach another support level and then we bounce along that support level a little bit before we then break down through multiple support levels. Behavior around the month's high or highs, um, they'll, they'll be overbought, like substantially overbought, uh, excuse me, not substantially overbought. Um, they'll be close to the 80 mark, close to the 80 mark on the RSI. Um, that'll be part of uh, what signals a uh, month's high. And then off of the low, the behavior off of the low is going to be a big move to the upside to reach a very distant uh, resistance level. And considering that that's at the low and we're talking about a month spread, I'd say that there's a big, there's a big spread between the high and the, and the low for this month. Big spread between the high and the low for this month uh, for, for January. All right. Now the there's a completion of a trend, of a bullish trend, um, marks one of the high, the local highs. Um, and then we have some, something happens with our economics, something happens with um, financial support uh, that moves the market higher, like in a really notable way off of the low. Um, the local, the local high, um, in week two is going to have a sharp decline. I mean, we're talking like a mar market failure. Um, and then we're going to have some price swinging around the local lows. Big, big, big move to reach the high 
um, the local highs. And another big, 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 big move off of the low to reach the, uh, off of the low to form the low. So it looks to me like this right here, the third week, the week of the 17th through the 21st is gonna be a really important week. All right, and the behavior around the local low here is gonna be three failed attempts to break through a key resistance level followed by a sharp decline out of that third failed attempt. And then another big move to the upside off of the low. So we have one, two, we have three big moves off of the low. One that's kind of like ambivalent. There's a lot of opportunity in week two and week three. All right, I'm being advised to trade around um, a, an important support level, um, possibly a economic leader is highlighted around that time, and then indolence to trade around a high the, the, whose level we will not revisit within January. Um, that would make sense here with uh, this big move to the upside. A decline, trade around a decline to a support level. and then trade around a move higher. Sorry, trade around a move down through a resistance level and then back up through, through uh, it when it was acting as support, it breaks through it. Sometimes there's some cards that I like to double up because they're difficult to read directionally. I guess that's good. All right, guys, so that's the uh, first portion of the uh, SO Meta reading for SPCE for January 2022. Um, and uh, I'm going to go into more depth uh, shortly where I actually m I'll mark this up with the pattern recognition system that I've developed over the last 20 years. And um, that'll be the complete reading. But in order for you to, to see that second part, um, you can go to the link below, click on that, or you can, you can purchase it um, on, on the actual website, terrafortraders.com. Um, this gives you the behavior and possibly some highs and lows. The SO Meta really identifies the highs, the month high and lows, and the local highs and local lows, as well as trade opportunities, what days, and we have roughly a 98% accuracy, guys. So go check it out. Um, and uh, thanks for your support.